everybody. I welcome to this video with myself and Liz Drew. And we are here to look at a new ligature to the market for clarinet, and it's called the AK ligature. And it's made in the USA on um, very expensive CNC machinery, <laughs> <laughs> and then assembled by hand in a stress-free way. It's rhodium plated, and they do a version which is gold plated. Now, I did just want to talk about the rhodium plating thing because they've done that so that it doesn't tarnish. Rhodium plating won't tarnish like silver plate will tarnish. Mm. And we've all seen an occasion where silver plate ligatures can get really quite tarnished. They start terribly sparkly. Yes. And they become Black. dull. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. And part of that is because a lot of players will have ebonite mouthpieces and it's often the materials within the ebonite that reacts with the silver plating and it wears the ligature down. Um, and so rhodium plating should stay looking like that forever and ever, amen, if you look after it. And the gold plate would obviously give you a slightly different vibe, different feel. But why we've done a separate video about this, we've included it in our top five metal lig video, which you can see separately. But this has a little bit more going on. And at first, mm. I think it's fair to say, at first glance, you think, oh, wow, that looks different. Then you think, oh, wow, maybe there's too much going on. Mm. But we've had a bit of testing with it, and actually yeah. once you kind of get your head around it... It's just a whole new concept of how a ligature could work. Yeah. And it's got some major pluses. Yeah. So let's get into it. Um, when you actually apply it, or when you look at it, there's three kind of things going on. We've got the main screw here on the back. Then you've got the sort of individual uh, or fine adjustment, shall mm -hmm. we call it, reed yeah. screw there on the front. And then the, the locking kind of pin or clamp that sets the whole thing into position. So the idea is that the cage of the ligature just is put into place to not actually touch the reed. It's very clever. So once you've got it set up, the actual ligature does not move. It's just fixed. This is just, like you've already set that in place. So all you have to do is slot your reed into place and literally just push down on that and it's set. So if you just want to move your reed slightly, you flick the clamp up, you shove it slightly to the left, done. It's very, very easy knowing that this isn't going to move about. Yeah. So that's the principle. You put the ligature on with, without the reed, onto the mouthpiece, tighten up the back one there, like Liz says, that holds it all in place. Then you can put any reed, another reed, another reed, yeah. in or out, and make fine adjustments as you yeah. go. So it's really neat. And there's a magnetic plate essentially that floats for want of a better word mm -hmm. in that it's on a light spring mechanism in here and that is just gently holding the reed down but yeah. really letting the reed do its thing that's the idea yes. without any of that sort of compression on well, we're top of it. We're getting back to the German string one day wouldn't we? It, yeah exactly <laughs> but you joke I mean when yeah. you sometimes you just put your thumb on a reed oh. if you're in a warm-up situation yeah. you just that's kind of the best sound because there's very yeah. little else you know, affecting it. Going on. And I think that's what they've gone for here. But maybe let's just have a little listen, Liz. Yes, I like it. It has a sweetness and a, a quality. The, the quality of the sound is allowed to, to be projected. OK. So that was very soft, but there's, there's no excess fluff about it. And if you push it a little more? It pushes. It pushes. <laughs> so yes, in, you know, in our mind it's quite an interesting thing mm. actually and it's, I think it'd be very easy. Definitely for legato as well. Yeah. It works. Yeah. It's lovely. I think it would be really easy to fall into the trap of thinking, oh, there's another really expensive ligature that's over-engineered. And I it's worth a look at. don't think it is. No. Yeah. It's uh, got some very interesting qualities about it. There are some out there that maybe are, and when you try and move and they all ping off in mm. this rhodium and gold and zircon and all sorts of bits <laughs> flying at you. But I, that actually fundamentally really works. And I think the reasons they've done those things make sense you know, from an yeah. actual playing point of view. It's nice to have a, a new concept on the market. Yeah, yeah, it absolutely. Someone's really given a lot of thought to. Yeah, so it's something really for the advanced player. And I think it's when we're into those finessing of the fine details mm. and, and making sure you feel comfortable fully with your setup that you would then start to look at things like that and invest yeah. accordingly. Splendid. Okay, well maybe just play us a little bit more to finish up if we can, Liz. Mm -hmm. 